Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today, I want to tell you about something that's actually kind of disappointing me in the community right now. But before we get into that, I want to talk about something awesome and positive, and that is that I've partnered with Disney Pop Town, and I am giving away three $20 Nintendo eShop gift cards to people who do the following. First, download Disney Pop Town using my link. It's in the description and on screen right now. Screenshot yourself reaching level 15. Don't worry. Level 50 does not take very long, and you're probably going to be addicted anyway, just like I was. <laughs> and also, send me a screenshot of that on Twitter, at Crossing Chase. I will be picking the winners at the end of the day on June 12th, so don't miss out, everyone. If you like Animal Crossing, trust me, you're going to like this game. It is Disney. It is cute. You also get to design your own town as you go, so it's not just a really fun game that you're going to get addicted to 100%, but it's also a lot deeper than that, and you can have a lot of fun. All right, on to the video. Because of the crazy world that we currently find ourselves living in, a lot of negativity has been brewing in the community regarding updates with Animal Crossing. We are expecting a ton of new updates, each one bigger than the last, which just isn't going to happen. Large updates will happen, don't get me wrong, but this is not the game that requires that. Yeah, New Horizons is missing some features from the older titles, but we are forgetting that it has a lot of content that the old games could only dream of having. Like, imagine decorating outside in New Leaf. That was way beyond what I thought was ever going to happen. We have it pretty good. Now, we've had some of this negativity in the community for a while now, and even I am to blame. I found myself being upset that small quality of life changes never came because they were never promised <laughs> or hinted at in the least. It was just something that I made up out of hope and love for the game in my head. We have been overhyping updates that had no solid data or leaks, just pure speculation, and then said that they were coming out soon or they might come out with the next update. Then we get upset when Nintendo doesn't deliver something that they never even hinted was coming that we completely made up in our own heads, you know? <laughs> and look, I get it. Honestly, I'm pretty burnt out, and I'm sure some of you are too. Like, lately, it seems like a lot more people post about feeling guilty that they never play the game and that they abandoned their villagers than they do post about actually playing it. <laughs> Honestly, it's just something I noticed. Because we are all hungry for content and things to do in a game we absolutely love and adore, we get baited quite easily into these sort of ideas and these speculation posts and videos. Lately, the hot topic has been a big Animal Crossing 2.0 update that will change the game, but before that, it was something like Brewster. And while, yeah, Brewster is more than likely to come eventually, I'm telling you right now, guys, a 2.0 update is just never going to happen. Now, let me quickly explain the version numbers before we can go on, because it's important. In general, it's rather weird for a single-player, non-competitive game to go past one point blank blank in that stage, because the one just typically means that the game is released. The second number is for updates, such as something like Brewster or a Christmas or any holiday update. That would be in the second slot. The third slot is for little patches, small tweaks to the game, like glitch fixes or anything like that. Nothing that really affects the game too much. Now, as I mentioned earlier, in most single player story driven games, they will never go past one point blank blank unless a large game changing meta change occurs, like a new season that changes the meta in competitive games, like Splatoon for a Nintendo example, or any competitive game in the entire world. Now, looking at the non competitive games like Animal Crossing New Leaf or The Sims and Minecraft, the version numbers to this day are still at one. Now, at the time of this video, Sims 4, which is eight Eight years old and has so many packs and patches, it's still at version 1.74. 0.59 point something. It's a really long number for The Sims and Minecraft, which has been out even longer. It's been out of beta for 10 years. It's only version 1.16. And you know what Animal Crossing New Leaf's 2.0 update would look like? It would look like Animal Crossing New Horizons version 1.0. <laughs> yeah, like for most games, the 2.0 update never happens because a large update of that scale would just warrant an entirely new game on new hardware or like new coding. A 2.0 update for Sims 4 would be The Sims 5 version 1.0. You see where I'm going with this? We seem to just keep latching on to these specific dates and hyping it up so much to the point that unless a full-blown sequel comes out, we're going to be disappointed. Heck, even an amazing addition would be disappointing with how much theorizing we've done. Like an island expansion? What? Are you crazy? And right now, we are really focused on E3. This is the do or die. And just recently, it was the huge 2.0 update with 1.10. And before that, New Year's. And before that, it just, it just kept going. We hype these things up and then a tweet or a Reddit post will go viral on the subject or a speculation video titled, Huge 2.0 Update Data Mine blows up. And then another post 
will go viral and another and another and another and we get so excited and filled with these huge expectations and then all of a sudden it's time for the update to come and the announcement from Nintendo is here the little short video that we all know and love and look forward to and guess what it doesn't come the 2.0 update not happening Brewster not here yet Nintendo dropped the ball again, ugh, and people just take to social media and vent their frustrations. And this is where all of this actually bugs me. I don't really get too upset with these things, but the other day I was scrolling through Twitter and saw someone say they were quitting Animal Crossing New Horizons unless Nintendo drops a 2.0 update soon. There were a ton of replies, and they were talking about Brewster and the island expansion rumor, or I don't know, I just kind of rolled my eyes at it because a 2.0 update or island expansion is just so obviously false and not going to happen. It was just clearly some harmless, fun speculation, right? Not exactly. It wasn't like that in the eyes of the hundreds of people replying to the Twitter thread. They all hopped on board and were just ready to rage quit if the next update didn't live up to these huge expectations. And that negative seed was planted by us in the community. Out of nowhere, we theorized things that we think could be fun, that we think could make the game blow up again and let us relive that beautiful feeling we had at the beginning, but it just ends up that we feel entitled to these theories. Do you ever wonder why people seem so obsessed specifically with Brewster. That's us doing exactly that. Hyping up something specific that we just made up in our heads and latching onto it and then being upset that it wasn't added right away. It doesn't it doesn't make any sense. I, I could tell you guys that we weren't obsessed with him in New Leaf. Brewster was just some small thing you sometimes did. He wasn't that great. And let's be real, there are many updates from previous titles that are just better than Brewster. But because certain content creators, <coughs> Nintendo Talk, love you Pat, <laughs> we hype it up and think it's going to be some saving grace. He's not. <laughs> You're going to get an hour of content out of it and then probably quit because, look, the real problem isn't that the game is boring or, or bad. It's that you have hundreds and hundreds of hours sunk into this game. Some people have over a thousand hours and that is just an insane amount of hours and an insane amount of value for a $60 single player game. And look, I get it. I often find myself longing for an experience of playing the games that I love once again for the first time ever. I'd give anything to experience those games like Breath of the Wild or Minecraft or of course Animal Crossing New Horizons again for the first time ever, but that's just its not going to happen. And that's not Nintendo's fault, and that's not anybody's fault. I just think, I just think that we need to appreciate the game for what it is right now now which is in all honesty a freaking amazing game if you don't have it i would suggest it to everyone to get it you see these complaints only started occurring after people spent hundreds and hundreds of hours in the game we weren't complaining much in the first month about not having gyroids because well for the first time ever we could place music boxes jukeboxes outside that could play any song that we wanted and have our villagers come and sing and dance beside it gyroids seemed so lame in comparison and the game is amazing guys and any updates that we get are just nice spring on top and we need to take a step back and just realize that sometimes. So yeah, it may seem like Nintendo keeps dropping the ball and we may feel like they dropped the ball at E3, but that's only because we randomly created that ball and then threw it at them out of nowhere. <laughs> Love you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm genuinely interested. Let's get a discussion going. Maybe a positive one for once. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.